Now let's say I just got done doing my last chapter, chapter 50 of Genesis. So I click on it and I delete it. And now I'm ready to start editing. So the thing that I do is I go to this Audacity. This is in the Originals. Go to this Audacity folder. I right click on it. I say Copy. I go back. Now I go down to my Edit folder. I right click and say Paste. Because this is going to be a large file, it might take a while to copy over. So now I can go into here. My AUPs are in here. I can go into my first one, double click on it. Now that Audacity's up and going, I can take it, I can edit it, I can take it, apply change to it if I want to. I apply that, it does changing to it, and I'm happy with it. So I'm going to go Control S, it saves it, and it saves it into the edited version. Now I'm going to go and I'm going to File, Export. Now I need to go to the correct folder. So if I go up, it's not in the originals, it's in the masters. And I want to go here, and I want to say, save as a wave. The information is correct. Close. Okay, there's no labels, but the next thing I want to do is I want to export. I can export distribution copy, so I can say export. Now I want to go to the correct folder. I want to go to distribution, and I want to go to the high quality uh, MP3. I can go in here, MP3. I can check my parameters. I want it to be here, standard. Everything's correct. It's correct here. I want to hit save. All this information is correct because I used the template. Done. I can also do other things to other distribution copies. So now I go down to my next file. I don't delete these because I might want to go back to them. So I go to my next one. I take it. I clean it up. Here is the Genesis chapter 1. Okay, so this is going to be verse 1 here. So I go Control-B. I go 01. Say this is verse 2 here. I go Control-B, 02. Go to here, Control-B, 03. And I continue on accordingly. A little cheat here. If you go here and you go Rename, grab that right there. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to hit Cancel, and I'm going to use that in just a little bit here. So now I'm going to take this and I'm going to save, Control S, and I just save that. Or you can go under here, but I already saved it. I'm going to export my master. So you need make sure that you go to the right folder. So it gets a little confusing here, go, but go to my master. This information is correct. I want it to go to a wave. I export that. All that information is correct. You might not want to do all your exporting to your distributions until later. It might get a little confusing. I just do it on the fly as long as I'm in the file. Go into File. Now I want to export the labels. I want to save these labels even though I might not chop up the book right now. Later on I might want to. So I'm under here. And this is why I wanted to copy up here this name. Because it's not it just puts in label track. It doesn't do that. So control V, I put it down, give a little space. And now when I hit save, then I can do my exports if I want to, to my distribution copies. So I close that down. If I go back to here, go back one more, go into my masters, and you will see that I have my title. And then also I have my labels that will go. If you name it the same, they will stick together. And so if I had chapter two, there would be the label and the chapter that goes with it. Go into my distribution copies, and I did a high quality. And so there's my high quality disk one. If you're not going to be doing a CD image, you can go ahead and delete that. Don't keep it in there. Only keep the ones that you need. I don't need that. I don't need Mega Voice. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. And I'm going to do low quality also 
but I'm not going to do it in this lesson. So pretty much that's how I do the recording and use my templates here.